a super tank and uh got a little comparison for y'all today galaxy 3 it's the galaxy 4 which one's better let's see uh well what i'm really trying to do is more like what i do and don't like about the devices because both of the phones are phenomenal uh they will get you through your day and um anything you need or want it'll do it no matter what uh, what i can say is that out of the, the, the the devices that people were talking about that they're, they're literally the same or they look the same I don't think that I think they're totally different it's not like the iPhone 4 and the 4S the iPhone 4 and 4S they looked exactly the same that was the same the Galaxy 3 and, and 4 they're not the same they're not the same device um, this one looks like this oval it looked like a, a rock laying on the ground you know that's what the, the tensions was to make it look oval this right here, it's more squared out, flat glass. The glass is literally flat. It isn't. It's not like the Galaxy 4, the Galaxy 3 that has like a tapered edges. It, it tapered down a little bit. This one is literally flat slate, which I love. I love the flat slate. I think it's more sexy and more appealing to me. And I love that it's just flat, flat surface. Love it, love it, love it. Love that when there's the Galaxy Note 1 and the Galaxy 3. I loved it when it was just flat glass. I didn't like too much of the rounded edges. Other than a phone over 5.5 inches, which the Galaxy Note 2 had, it was easier to use and, and grasp because it had the side it was beveled. These, it's easy to hold, it's real thin, um, there's no whatsoever, no type of bezel, it's literally almost gone. What I, do, what I don't like about the Galaxy 4, it has, the Galaxy 3, excuse me, it has nothing but <laughs> bezel. Bezel everywhere. Big bezel, nasty, ugly. I never liked it. That's one reason why I didn't like the Galaxy 3. And as soon as the Galaxy Note 2 came out, I jumped all over it because uh, the bezel is big, but it wasn't as noticeable as this one. Um, one thing why I love the Galaxy 4, it's more sexy. It's, it's, it's a sexier device. It's sleek. It's flat. It's not oval. And I think overall, it's a more of a beautiful device if you like appealing looks. People don't like it. They're like, oh, it's slimy. That's the way a Samsung's going. They want plastic. Why are you going to hate on them? Because they got plastic. You know, it's it's lightweight. It's lightweight. Uh, it's easier to pocket. And also, it's nothing but screen. You know how hard it is to, to, to do this? Nothing but screen? Nothing but screen on the phone. And I like I like the way the phone feels. I, I don't hate on other companies. I like Samsung and their devices. I think it's... It's much better. It's just, it's just overall good, good operating. Like the UI and everything is just, bar none, is probably the best UI out for Android right now. It's Samsung. Um, what I don't like about the Galaxy 4 is that the layout of the back. The layout of the back, I don't like the, the fact that it, it, the speaker is down here. I don't like the speaker down there. I like the speaker up here. They should have kept that. And around with it. They should have kept the speaker up here because when you're holding it, you're never blocking the speaker. You block the speaker this way, Samsung. Think about it. Speaker, you hold your phone from where? Down here. You're blocking it. I don't like that. So, please, the next generation, speakers on the bottom, maybe, speakers up top, or, or even up top, like HTC had it have, you know, y'all came out with that one of them, the things first. Y'all came out with the Galaxy Tab, and it had speakers up front. Y'all should have did that and ran with it. Speakers would sound much, much clearer if it was in the front, like HTC One is. I'm not saying that HTC One is a better phone, but it has a better speaker. And I'm, and I always say that it has a better speaker than this. Um, what I don't like about the Galaxy Three was its bezel and the overall look of it. I didn't never like. The way that looks. Why? Why would you have this ugly blue, full metal? You had this this dark blue. The light when you're reflecting off the light, and it gets to this this ugly blue, and then back to the exact same color blue that it is on the back cover. What's what's this for? Come on, Samsung. That's ugly. Get rid of that. Just have it silver. You got silver. You got silver components all over the phone. But you have this like a blue color. It looks, looks ugly. This is why I did much better on this one. A silver tone. 
with a, a black slash blue slash dotty screen and then this one right here maybe because you're new maybe that's the way I like it maybe next year when I got the Galaxy 6 or something I might like oh I don't like the fact that you know but right now so far right now it's much more pilling than the Galaxy 3 you look at this Galaxy 3 is not as good looking as the Galaxy 4 Galaxy 4 looks much much sexier the metal sides and then when you look at the front you actually can see some of the silver toning on the side and how it's reflecting this looks much sexier compared to this blue doll look I never liked it that's why I got the white one last year because it had a silver side instead of you know this blue ugly thing had a silver side and it was just much sexier um, also what I, do, what I don't like about it is that the 16 gig model of this phone got like 9 gigabytes of storage are you kidding me? Nine, what am I going to do with 9 gigabytes? I got like 10 games I play and those games like a gig, gigabyte each in, in storage so you're telling me if I get all 10 of them games out here that this phone won't have no storage it's ridiculous Samsung make them make it 32 gigabyte automatic from the door forget the 16, 16 is not working anymore. These games, the screen, the technology that's going into this phone, all the gestures, it's taking too much storage. Too much storage. You need to fix that. No more 16 gig. Next next year, boop, kick the 16 gig out, bring in all in a whole new 32 for every phone, and keep it at the exact same price point to make it a difference, a bigger jump from this to the next generation phone. Um... That's pretty much it. What I what I what I do and, and don't like about the phones. Um, what I can say is that the battery life on this one's much better than this one. It lasts about a day. This one don't last as long. Um, also, just a much more appealing device. It's much sexier. I don't like the back piece too much. And I don't think it's the back piece that bothers me as much. I think it's this faux metal right here. It's just an ugly, not ugly, sexy, but it's just. It's not real metal, and it makes the phone feel light and cheap a little bit, which I don't like. This is why everybody going to HTC and the new one. I don't want to go to HTC. Their updates, are, updates is, is horrible. Their their their, their quality of the device is good, but their speakers suck. Always blew out on me. Um, I don't know. The last eight, and always getting hot. HTC phones are good, but that metal we're gonna get. It's gonna imagine the summertime when you're using it, constantly using it for like I say a half an hour. It can get so hot. The phone gets so hot, it's uncomfortable to hold that metal in your hand when it gets so hot. Let's say you got it out in your car, and you're driving around, and you put it on your glove department, or you put it next to you, and the sun's hitting it. You know how hot that phone's going to be? It's going to be hot. So that's one thing I don't like about the um, the HCC one, that it will get too hot. That's what I like about plastic. Plastic can, it's it was sucking that heat better than that, that that metal is no matter what would do um, so yeah I like the plastic I think they should have just kept this metal put this metal you make this a real metal like you put the volume rocker and a power button like some type of aluminum you could have did that with the entire side bezel or we want to call this this rim right here a faux metal you could have put this all original metal you'd have come out winning even more one thing I can say that's better on this phone is the volume rockers the the uh, home button and as well as the back camera is that, that that side shiny metal thing is actually really aluminum or type some type of metal so I wish they would have put the side metal all this some type of aluminum the phone will feel much premium and it's not the back piece Samsung I like the back piece it looks looks sexy I think you should just made this all aluminum phone been much much better uh, next time make it all aluminum siding other companies can do it. I know you can do it. You also give the phone a much heavier feel and much sturdier uh, a feel. It won't feel as cheap. So next time, please bring all metal. Um, that's one thing I do like about it that it does look like metal and it does look more. It look like it costs a little more than it would than this one. This one don't look like it costs nothing. It look like a mid to low end device. So yeah. Also, I noticed that the processor on the phone. This one's much faster and better on gaming compared to this one. Let's say I play Integra, some type of Integra game. Let's say, um, 
what game is good. Let's say like a Need for Speed or something. Um, this right here will be much more laggier compared to this one. I tested out a couple of games. This one always came out to be a better gaming device. Uh, I don't know if it's the Snapdragon because it's quad core, or maybe it's just I don't know. They got two gigabyte by the RAM. Just the processor on here is much better than here, and it makes the phone run faster. Also, what I do. Uh, I do like about it is all the features and all the gestures that you can do. You can just move your hand out and then move things. You can look up and down. Let's say you're playing a video. Uh, let's say you're watching a movie or something. You look away, it will pause it. But I don't like about it that it's too sensitive. If I look at half, my eyes go somewhere, it literally pauses the phone. So sometimes it looks like the phone is lagging, but it's not lagging. It just uh, it, it censors your eyes. And where your eye movement is, your eye goes away, the entire phone would stop. So I do and don't like that feature. They need a next generation make that feature a little more better. Uh, maybe if you move your face, then it'll pause. If you don't move your face, you know, keep it playing. If you move your eye, come on. You, people want to move their eyes because they're looking at their surroundings. So cut that out. But that was pretty much it. Uh, I love the Galaxy 4 so far. Um, it's not a review, but the Galaxy 3 was a good device until the Galaxy Note 2 came out. The Galaxy Note 2, it's... It's overall my favorite device of probably of all time. Um, this is not going to take its position of my favorite phone of all time. It will take the position of the phone I'm carrying at the moment. I will be carrying this phone. Um, but the Galaxy Note 2 is my favorite device of all time. It's not because of stylus. It's actually because of screen size. Um, I can't wait till the Galaxy Note 3 come out. And that's what I'll be rocking as soon as it comes out. Um, the Galaxy uh, 4 is a good phone. But, you know... Galaxy Note is that's the, the line that I will be grabbing um, come September October of this year. Um, but so far, phone's good. Does does everything I needed to do, and I can't wait for uh, my review. Please give this phone uh, this uh, video a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. It does help. Um, I'm trying to bring out more content for you guys. Uh, my name is Super Tank, and I'm out. Peace.